What's going on guys, Multi-Kills HD here, as most of you guys probably already know. So today I want to talk about a topic because I recently just seen a video on Fist Decuff's video on a second channel, Fist 2. And, uh, you know, I was debating on making this video a while ago, but I decided, you know, I really just didn't feel like it was a time. Because it was going through Black Ops 2's Prime, and you know... When a game just comes out and everybody's starting to play it, such as Black Ops and Call of Duty, you know, it, it's almost untalkable at the time because, you know, everybody just wants to say how much of a great game it actually is, when, you know, most of the time it really isn't. So, anyways, Fiskuff made a video talking about David Von Hart should be fired. And although I think that's a little bit extreme, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my little thoughts or opinion on David Von Hart being, you know, the community manager at Treyarch. So, um, first off, I want to say one thing. Black Ops 2 has been absolutely terrible. And you may ask why, and I'm sure I'm going to get that as soon as I say Black Ops 2 is completely terrible. Well, let me go ahead and say this. In 2011, Von Der Hart was introduced into a group, or claimed he was in a group called Optic Nation. And, you know, it's a clan that's widely known throughout the Call of Duty community. So, you know, Optic being Optic, they kind of just went along with it, and, you know, they didn't really say that he wasn't in it. And, you know, they were just friends with him. You know, time goes by, and Von Der Haar starts going to a couple Major League Gaming events and other tournaments, such as, you know, UMG, California, you know, all these little tournaments he starts showing up at, and he starts to really enjoy it. And, you know, this was in Modern Warfare 3 when, uh, you know, Optic was unstoppable, Scumpy was, you know, almost 100% never going to be beat with Scumpy in Modern Warfare 3. You know, Black Ops 2, it's a little bit different now because he doesn't play as high as he was last time. But what I want to talk about is, you know, once he got done with all these events, he was enjoying it so much that instead of doing the best for the community, he kind of decided to make his own game and make only the decisions which he thought were good. And the problem with this is one thing, you know, with him going to all these events, you get into a competitive mode. And what I mean with a competitive mode is quite simple. You know, you get used to playing the way that pro players play. I mean, you know, you go for the objective, you stop caring about KD, you know, you always see good players. And unfortunately... The game was 100% hands down developed around, you know, competitive players. There's no doubt about it. Because if you go on this game, you have league play. And you may say league play is just one part of the game. I absolutely agree. It is just one part of the game. Now let me go ahead and give you a few more examples of why this game is 100% catered to the Call of Duty competitive community. And here it is. League play, number one. Two. Skilled based matchmaking. Well, you know, from the beginning of Call of Duty, as far as I can remember, there has never been, you know, a pairing up system that goes by your KD, your score per minute, your win loss ratios, all combined and averaged. Now, you know, it's good if you want to have a, you know, like I said, if you want to have a competitive scene, and absolutely you should be playing against people that are your same skill or, you know, greater. Absolutely. But, you know, we soon found out when the game came out there is flaws with this system. Such as, you know, Jay Nasty, reverse boosting. You have reverse boosters, not just Jay Nasty, but a lot of them. You know, all the people that were getting gameplays 200 pluses, all of a sudden were getting paired up with people that had, you know, a 0 0.2, 0 0.3 kill death ratio, and, you know, they were just getting used to the game. And, you know, it's absolutely wrong in their situation to, you know, just come to the game, you're starting to enjoy having fun, and then all of a sudden you get in a lobby with somebody that's 15 times your skill level. Knows all the spawns, knows what guns are good, knows what kill streaks are good, knows how to manipulate the spawn system into making a high score gameplay. And, you know, then all of a sudden that person that was just starting to get interested in Call of Duty has to quit because, you know, there's no reason to play a game when you're going against somebody that's 20 to 50 times better than you half the time. And, you know, I gotta completely agree. Skilled based matchmaking just completely showed us another part that, you know, the game was focused on competitive Call of Duty, and it absolutely 100% was. Now, I've given you two examples now, and I'm going to go ahead and give you the last one. So, if you remember, Team Deathmatch on Black Ops 2 has always been 100 points until recently. 
you know, it's always been 100 points for the score streaks. And the reason that Vaughn did this after Thunderstruck tweeted it out 50, 60 times a month to Vaughn telling him to raise the score from 100 to 125 to make it more entertaining for people, you know, it, it, nobody wants to go into a game and just have gunfights. You know, that's just not fun. You know, you want to get those high score streaks. You know, you want to have score streaks. Whereas in Team Deathmatch, you couldn't get them at the time. So, the reasoning after six, seven months of bugging Vaughn about this, you know, he responds with, Team Deathmatch was made for gun-on-gun -gun plays, and he didn't really want kill streaks to interrupt that or interfere with that. And for the people that don't know this, game battles since 2008 for Call of Duty has always been on the system of no kill streaks in competitive Call of Duty until recently, except this year in Black Ops 2, they finally introduced kill streaks to the game and allowed them to happen. So, right there shows a third strike, Vaughn. You know, you're catering the Call of Duty, you know, competitive community and nobody else. I absolutely agree with Thunderstruck. I believe you should be fired for these actions. You know, it, it's just, it's just disappointing. That's exactly what it is. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, hit the like rating for me. My name, of course, is Multi-Kills HD, and I'm out.